Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. If you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell for loads of FPV related and camera drones. So, this is the Jumper T16 Pro. Those of you that have watched my channel for a while know that I've been running a Jumper T16 for about 6-7 months as my daily driver. I've used nothing else. Uh, it took over from a Nirvana and the only issue I ever had was getting used to the size difference and the way this holds in your hand. Now, for me it was a little bit easier because prior to drones I used to fly helicopters and I always had Fataba, so this again was just like having a Fataba in your hand. So this is the T16 Pro, the big difference is of course it has an internal module now and the external bay I can now run my R9M on, you can run Crossfire on this, I just choose to use the R9M and that is the big difference. The other difference is it now has gimbals that are Hall Effect and it doesn't come with these ends, these ends are off my Nirvana because I don't use Nirvana much anymore so I swapped the, the ends out for it and the other difference is the scroll wheel's been updated because I had an issue with mine originally the SD card reader is different than the original one if you look at the card and you take the, both out they are different and the other thing is the screen so the screen on this one, so this is my original, so this is my original, and you see it's got a matte screen, this one has a shiny screen, it's quite a bit brighter is this screen now, no one seems to have mentioned that in the videos I've watched. So I, I converted over not long ago, so yes I've still got this. The reason I've, I've got both is now because I'm going to move totally over to Jumper probably, so this one will be my backup. And that on there is for a future video that's coming up that you'll see, I'll just put it on there to test if it fitted okay. So. This is the original one. I have made changes to this one. This one now has Hall Effect to gimbals and you get a little sticker there. See it's gone silver now instead of red. So this one now has Hall Effect gimbals. It's had the updated scroll wheel fit and it has had the new SD card reader because it failed. Now they're about the only differences. Now what I will say is because I've been using this one an awful long time now. When I changed the Hall Effect gimbal from the original I didn't feel any difference whatsoever. I'll be totally honest with you, I didn't. Now, the other thing I noticed is I bought these from, I bought the whole effect gimbals to go on here. They are not the same as the ones that is in this set. They look far better quality in the Jumper Pro than these ones do that I bought separately from Jumper. Came in a Jumper box, but they are not the same gimbals as this one. In short, if you've got one of the original ones, would I upgrade to whole effect gimbals? If you're flying every day like I have been, possibly. You don't want to wear the gimbals out. If you're not flying every day and you're using this as a weekend flyer, I wouldn't bother. I'd just fly it as it is. Because they don't feel any better, to be honest. Um, the card reader, if yours does, if the card reader fails or that failed, Jumper will cover it for you. They'll have this in stock at the place you bought it for, and possibly the card reader. They had to send my card reader out. But that's the only thing that's gone wrong with it. So I don't know how many flights I've had with this. A lot. Uh, I've not had as many flights. I've only had a couple of flights with this one. But I've had a lot of flights with the original and I've never ever had a minute of bother apart from the fact these two things have failed. But I bought one of the original ones, one of the early ones, so I was probably one of the first people to uh, have you review the retail one. And I knew there were going to be issues with it, but the fact that Jumper had been superb and backed it up every time meant I went and bought this one. So these come in at around 129 depending on where you get one from, obviously not with the R9M. And I think it's well worth it. it if you've never seen one of these before, they run on uh, two eighteen six, two eighteen six fifty batteries in the back of this. Or you can run on a two S LiPo. I run on eighteen six fifties, and probably now is this perfect? It's as close as you're going to get, in my opinion. This is, without doubt, in my opinion, the best radio on the market. If you want to fly quad, that's a strong statement. I've got the X nine D SE Plus. This is a far better radio. Everything feels better on this now. The sticks feel better on this, it's the same kind of size, the massive LCD screen is fantastic for programming and now it's got obviously the built in um, transmitter now, I've got everything I need so I've got full multi protocol and of course if you buy the new FR Sky stuff, so if you buy something like this this has got access protocol, you still need to put a module in the back of this if you want to fly anything that's got D8 because anything that's a bind and fly that you've had for a little bit will not work on this radio unless. I don't mind this radio, I did a review on it and I quite like it, but I probably will never use it again now. Um, but not a bad radio. 
the Nirvana, which was my daily drive, I still like it. I just, it annoys me that they don't do updates to it and I kind of fell out with it. And now I've got used to flying with this, I probably will never go back. The software on both of these is quite similar, except it's much harder to do on this screen than it is on this one. So I'll just turn the screen on. You can see it's, it's quite, that screen's quite a lot brighter than the original. It's going to tell me that the firmware is out. So one thing you need to do is when you buy this radio or you do the mod, sorry I should have said, you can buy the internal module for around 20 quid, they've got it on Mantec I believe, it'll cost you 20 quid for that and it's just a straightforward three screws, plug it in, you must update the firmware on this or it will not work properly. So you need to put the 2.3 firmware on here which is on their website, on OpenTX's website. Now one thing I will say is, I downloaded the SD card content put them on and it, it scrambled the radio, it didn't work properly. I've used my original SD card contents and just copied over, over the firmware and it's all fine. So that's why it's coming up on an expected version. All you, all you can do, all you need to do with that is change the TXT file on a notepad, on notepad and that'll sort it out. I haven't done that, I'm not really that bothered, but that is one thing that I would say. As from the next revision of uh, open TX, this will be fully supported, so you'll be able to do this on Companion and do whatever you want to the heart's content rather than just taking the SD card out and, and doing it. But this has got version of 2.3 on here, I'll just show you what, what it's running on. So as you can see it's running on 2.3.0. And I think when you start it up it now comes up and says welcome to open TX and not jump a TX. I might be wrong. Let's have a look. Welcome to open TX. There you go. So it says welcome to open TX. It didn't do that on the older version. So how I can't tell you how much I highly rate this radio. As I said, this thing's has a lot of flights on it. Never had range issues, not once. I've never had fail safe warning, I've never had brownouts. I've never had an issue with it apart from the scroll wheel just fell inside once and the SD card reader. And the SD card reader, if you wiggle it, you could have got it to work and I did get it to work so I could do, it was when I was doing a firmware upgrade, that happened and I wiggled it and I got it to work again. And if I didn't do a firmware upgrade, I would never have an issue again. So, love it, absolutely love it. So I think Joshua Bardwell's done a video recently and Stuart from AV Future saying this is going to be their daily driver. Well I've been driving this for six months and I can tell you it's faultless and I, I presume the guys will come back and tell you that you've been watching and say the same thing after a few months. Unless they have an issue with theirs, I've never had an issue with mine. So thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day and if you don't already you're doing for T16 you should highly think about it. Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.